I came from Galveston, Indiana, out of a tool shed. You know, that's where I learned to play. That's where I learned to shoot the basketball. And to go to Indiana to get recruited by Indiana, you hear a lot of naysayers. A lot of people say, well, I, he's never played against great competition. And he's not, you know, he's, he's a nice player, but he's never he's not going to be able to help them. Said Bob Knight in Indiana, he said, they play for national championships. You, you, you can't play there. You're, you're, not, you're not good enough to play. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing the starting lineups for tonight's championship game. At a forward for the University of Indiana, number 30, a 6A junior from Galveston, Indiana, Ted Kitchell. Big man with a great perimeter touch for 40 against and Illinois. I play with a bit of a chip on my shoulder, always have, always will. I don't care if, it, if I'm in a golf match today or if I'm playing for national championships or if I'm playing ping pong. I've got a chip on my shoulder. As far as trying to win and trying to beat you and competing against you. As far as the Parkinson's, I had no idea. And I finally went to the doctor. I ended up getting a chest X-ray and they called me a couple hours later, and asked me if I could get to the emergency room. They let me know that I had two blood clots in my right leg, one blood clot in my left leg, two in my lungs. Uh, when I went home from the hospital, I, I noticed that my right hand sh would shake a little bit. So I finally, at a FootJoy national sales meeting, one of the people in charge of medical stuff said, you know, why don't we fly you out to Boston? We have some specialists. So they had a specialist in Boston look at me. It took, him, it took her about 15 minutes and she said, you know, you've got Parkinson's. Parkinson's is the second most common neurodegenerative disease after Alzheimer's disease. It causes both motor symptoms as well as non-motor symptoms. In general, we know that Parkinson's is caused in part by genetic factors and in part by environmental exposures. It was still basically a shock. The kids kind of said, you know, we need to st start doing something. So we got together with the people at IU and uh, told them what we would like to do. And obviously they were all for it. The Ted Kitchell golf outing for Parkinson's disease started because we just picked a date and said we were doing it. And because we picked the date and said we were doing it, we had to get it done. So then we started getting golfers and sponsors, things for a silent auction, and it all kind of just came together and we've learned more and more each year. I just hope that they can use this money and use the funds that we're able to raise to give other people who have, you know, have a difficult time with life right now because of the shaking. IU has been a leader in genetic research in Parkinson's. We're currently participating in a national study that is providing free genetic testing for people with Parkinson's disease. And genetic counselors from IU are providing the genetic counseling for patients who are participating in this study across the country. The hope is that currently, if we give people a drug that is very specific to their genetic problem, that those drugs may be more effective. I hope what happens with the money we raise, finding a cure would be amazing. Finding things that can help people who suffer with Parkinson's disease, you know, something to make the tremors not as tough on them, being able to sleep through the nights without their medications giving them side effects, fixing things to make it a easier process and the best quality of life they any of them can get on a day-to-day -day basis. I feel like in most cases it's because I can probably handle it better than, than other people can handle it. So the good Lord has put it on my shoulders to take care of it and I'll do the best I can.